Hello again. In a previous video, we took a look at this, which is the Farpoint Auto Collimator. Now, those nice people at Farpoint have sent me a couple more of the toys to uh, have a play with and to show to you. And what we're going to show you in this video is this. This is the 2-inch collimation kit from Farpoint Astro. Now, also as part of that kit, because we'll go into the, what's in the box in a moment, you also get uh, this little system here. Now, what this is... Is this is a primary mirror spotting template and I don't know if you can see that there's there's actually lines on there um, this one will do mirrors up to about 12 inch uh, you can get a template up to about 21 inch if you contact Farpoint Astro and basically it's got the rings and you and you stick uh, your, your new primary mirror spot on the inside of this template overlay it on the outside perimeter of your mirror and just press the new point in place now there is instructions in this kit but also farpoint astro i've got a video on youtube that shows you the procedure so that you know you you're quite well sort of educated on how to do it before you start they also are good enough to supply you with four of the mirror center spots uh, either you've got more than one telescope or you make a mistake so you know at least with four you, you're sort of covered and obviously this is the instruction section with it now the first thing you'll notice is that these are a bright colour but also the triangular as opposed to the circular donuts that you might be used to seeing on, um, on most telescopes and there's actually a reason for that and that's because it's actually tailored to one of the pieces of equipment in this box now this kit comes in this box, um, the two inch collimation kit, but also you can buy it without the box that you know is obviously a little bit cheaper and you can also buy the items separately. Now also I'm informed that there's going to be a new version of this coming out that will have the auto collimator in the case as well, uh, maybe a slightly bigger case but obviously you would then get this and this in there. Uh, so let's just have a look in the box. It's a nice sealable weatherproof box and once we have a look in there we've got these and we're going to start with this one now this is actually a cheshire collimator now i know a lot of people are thinking that doesn't look like a cheshire collimator um the reason being that most people are used to seeing this and thinking this is a cheshire collimator it's actually not this is actually called a combination collimation tool and just a lot of people refer to it as a Cheshire, it's all, you know one of these things like loads of people call the vacuum cleaner an Uber even though it's an Electrolux um, and it's the same thing with the, the Cheshire's, this is actually an original Cheshire now if we have a look at this you can see that it's it's quite a high quality um, sort of centering um, adapter you know that you can sort of put in your focuser and use it for a, a centering tube but also it's got this reflective bottom on it, this ring now when you put this in your scope like i say you can use it as a sight tube um you know it's just got a nice nice sized hole in there but what you will also see is you will see this ring reflected in in the in the mirrors as you look through your scope now this is primarily the reflective section for centering up your primary mirror and the reason why i say it's tailored um to these actual spots is due to the sizing and the way that it presents in your mirror now the easiest way for me to do that is to show you sort of as a, a graphical representation which I'll, I'll go into in a moment but if you imagine if you if you use a normal cheshire you used to see in a circle within a circle and and sort of matching the perimeters up and sometimes it's a little bit hard you, you know you don't know whether does it need to go left a bit does it need to go right a bit or you know maybe you've got some sort of a eye condition where you, you know you just don't see circles the concentricity so well um, well this sort of eliminates all that and as I said we'll, what we'll do is we'll just go into a, a graphical representation and show you how it works okay now obviously I've done these in, in sort of bright primary colours so you can see exactly what's going on when you look through that, that Cheshire collimator you will see this ring sort of reproduced it in your mirrors and you will see this triangular centre spot now what you do is you adjust your primary mirror until that centre spot goes like so and you can see now that a point of the triangle on each of the three corners is in contact with the inside diameter of, of the circle so it's a much easier method you know instead of trying to spot whether a circle is exactly in the middle it's just so easy to, to be able to tell where everything's centered because all you do is make sure that the triangle centered like so and that's your primary mirror uh, collimated so let's just have a look what else is in the box
Right, so the next thing that's in this kit is this. Now this is a single point laser collimator. Now, as a few people will gather, I'm not a great fan of the single point laser collimator. I do like the, the windowed versions and the ones that you can um, use with a, a Barlow using the Barlow laser method. But what I will say about this one is it's probably the best engineered single point laser collimator I've ever seen. And there's a few actual good points about it. And for one, I wouldn't drop it on my foot, which I can't say for any other laser collimator I've ever seen. And I have seen quite a few. Now, when you first get this, there is a cardboard tube over this section that tells you it is factory collimated and centered, um, even though there are sets of screws around this perimeter to, to center it if need be. I found this was exactly spot on as regards to centering. I've had it in the scope and rotated it. I've put it in a jig and rotated it at a distance. And it was absolutely perfectly centered. Now, it's actually tailored to fit in one and a quarter inch size focusers and two inch size focusers. Um, the fit was actually so good that you didn't need to sort of start tightening screws or anything. It just was a really nice snug fit in the focusers that I tried it in. Um, the, the dot on this laser is actually a very, very nice pinpoint dot. Uh, I don't know if you can see that or not, but I've, I've seen quite a few collimators that have, that have got a dot that looks like a grain of rice and it, they're just awful. They're not a nice sort of perfect point. This was, it's, it's probably the, the best point I've seen on a, on a laser collimator. And I know for a fact that some of these laser collimators that, that you can buy, um, the laser dial that's in it is no better than the ones that you see on your holidays for uh, sort of two UK pounds, you know, sort of four dollars or whatever. But not only that, you get a lot of fittings on them where you can put smiley faces and peace symbols and, and stuff, you know, and then the diodes that they use in some of these laser collimators are exactly the same laser diode. This isn't, it's actually a good quality laser diode. Something else that I like about this is the battery. Now, for anybody who's used um, a normal laser collimator, you know that if you forget to turn it off, they drain the batteries in no time because the batteries that they use are just these um, button cells that are really fit for watches. Well, in this one, if we unscrew the top, the battery is actually a real battery. Um, it's actually called a... CR123 and if you look on sort of various shopping places then you find these they're just a, a generally easily ob obtainable battery uh, you know I did look it up because when I took this thing to pieces which uh, is unusual for me to take things to bits uh, it's one of the first things that I look for because the battery being an unusual shape but they are just easily available at, at lots of places even camera shops um, so you've got a lot of battery life in there um, just put the top back on the button to switch it on and off is a proper push button that's recessed inside here just so that you don't accidentally switch it on and off um, so as I said it's a really nice pinpoint laser um, it's heavy like I said I wouldn't drop it on your foot it's, it's you know it's a really substantial piece of equipment um, and if you know if single point laser is your thing and you do have a preference for them then I've never seen one as good as this to be honest um, that's it for the kit uh, there is more information available on the Farpoint site but it's just a nice little overall set that's that's presented quite nicely um, and it's something that I will definitely be adding to uh, my armoury of approximately a thousand and one different collimation tools just to sort of appease my um, obsessive collimation disorder um, I have used the um, the Cheshire in that and it is a brilliant tool, it works very very well. It actually works for centering a, a primary a lot better than one of these does as long as you use the you know that different spot with it. And that's it for this one um, and once again thanks for watching.